My name is Coral Nguyen and I work in passenger check-in at Lyd Airport and it involves searching passengers, uh, checking in passengers, um, checking in their baggage, searching their baggage. This is a metal detector that we use um, to search people, usually if they make the security archway metal detector beep. If there's anything visual that we can see straight away that would have set off the machine then we'd use this and then hand search them as well to make sure that they've got nothing else on them. I had one incident where we had a gentleman we were checking in and he wouldn't let go of a baggage. Um, he was in a wheelchair and we had to call the armed police on him because we need to check everyone's baggage. So that was quite an experience. I was working in a nursery after I left college and I was offered more money at a part-time job. I was doing a weekend in a golf club. So I went there full-time and then I, I heard through a friend about the jo uh, job in catering at the airport and I uh, applied for that and got that and then after about a month or so of working in the restaurant the MD and all the staff noticed that I was a nice good worker, hard worker and uh, they needed a job for the um, passenger check-in and so they interviewed me for that and I moved up to passenger check-in. I went to an all girls school so it was quite quite hard sometimes. I'd try and keep my head down but with all girls it's a bit hard, you can get misled sometimes. Um, I was a hard worker, I always have been, would always get my work done in time. I enjoyed drama, geography I liked at school, and maths, I've always been really good at da uh, maths, I think I got that from my dad. I went from school to college um, to do a childcare course and um, wanted to go to uni from college to do uh, teaching, um, but due to um, family problems not doing so well in college as I'd hoped to due to the problems. Um, I didn't get the grades I wanted and then couldn't go to university. So then looked for work straight after college. My mum and dad split up, so I had to grow up quite quick. I've got a younger sister. I used to kind of play the, have to play the motherly role for my sister. My brother got into drugs and, and uh, it kind of affected my college work. But then realising that working here, I kind of realised that I didn't even think that I wanted to work for children anymore anyway and never would have thought that I would have worked in aviation, but now I'm here, I love it. Uh, when I'm not working, I go to the gym when I can be bothered. I haven't gone the last couple of weeks. I should get back into it, really. Um, I've done paragliding. I'd like to do a bungee jump, but just have never had the chance. I've been up in a couple of the little um, pipers that we've got outside. It was just like driving a car, but you had no pedals or anything. I just literally had the wheel and you tip it like a tiny bit and you start going down and you pull it up a bit and you start going up again. It's really good. If the airport expanded, we would have bigger jets in. We would have a lot more passenger movements flying to places other than just Le 2K. So hopefully I would like to go into an operational, a operational job which would be dealing with the aircraft, dealing with um, the loading of the aircraft and the, the passengers. I'd still like to be involved in the passengers. I think my dad has inspired me, um, he's self-employed, he's got um, now three men working for him, a couple of vans, his own business, so he's inspired me in, um, in I'd say, the work aspect of things.